Colby Covington launched a scathing attack on Leon Edwards, accusing him of being a cheater. With their fight scheduled for next week, Covington openly pointed out what he sees as dirty moves by Leon Edwards. Here is what he said. As a fighter, Leon Scott is the biggest cheater the sport has ever known. I thought Marty was a cheater. Man, this guy makes Marty look like a freaking saint. Leon is a cheater. He's poking people in the eyes, kicking people in the nuts, grabbing the fence. The guy's the biggest cheater the sport's ever seen and that's the only way I was able to prepare for him. My main training for this camp was making sure that I kept my glasses on at all times because I don't want to get poked in the eye. He's going to kick me in the nuts and grab my shorts, anything he can because he's a cheater. I can't wait to end his reign. Chael Sonnen got this strong belief that Bo Nickel totally missed the boat on some amazing opportunities. He's saying Nickel didn't take advantage of the good times that came his way. Chael is pretty confident that if Nickel had fought more often, he'd have easily snagged a spot in the top five. Here is what he said. There's not very many times where Bo, as new as he is, and over the unranked guys, could splash in with a star. Paulo Costa could easily dismiss it, but he had an opportunity, and he didn't take it, and prior to that he had an opportunity to get Chimaev. They needed somebody. Bo had an opportunity to get it. Now I don't know that he would've. When Paolo pulled out, that was Bo's chance, and if he would've beaten Camera to the ask, he would've got the fight. There is an ability and there is a fast track here, particularly with this division. One year ago, Bo was main card and Duplessis was not. But one guy went hunting and the other guy kept running his mouth, and that other guy is not only in a world title fight, he's a 2 to 1 favorite. Sonnen's breakdown really hits home about how crucial it is to grab those golden chances in the crazy world of mixed martial arts. As Bo Nickel keeps on trucking in his MMA journey, all eyes are glued to how he'll handle upcoming opportunities. Everyone's wondering how he'll steer his career forward and leave his mark in this wild sport. Islam Makachev recently discussed his upcoming opponent, expressing a lack of interest in a rematch with Charles Oliveira. Instead, he's notably more motivated about engaging in a fresh fight, facing someone like Justin Gaethje. Here is what he said. To be honest, I've already said that I'm not that interested in rematches, because if you want to win someone in a good way, you have to add new names. There is Gaethje, who I would say deserved a fight. I think it would be more interesting to fight him. Armin had a good knockout to be honest. After that fight, I think he said loudly that he had won the top contender fight. Well, he is approaching the title chance I would say. He already had the chance to knock me out. But he didn't succeed. He didn't win a single round, let him train more he will grow up. If he will pass one more fight confidently, then the UFC leadership will give him this fight with me. While some fans supported Makachev's decision to avoid facing Oliveira again, others firmly believe that Oliveira is the most deserving contender in the lightweight division. However, as always, the final call on Makachev's next opponent will rest with Dana White. Ilya Tapuria appears unfazed and unconcerned about facing Alexander Volkanovsky. Despite their upcoming bouts scheduled for UFC 298, Tapuria doesn't think this fight will be competitive at all. He confidently claims that Volkanovski lacks the necessary tools to challenge him. Here is what he said. He doesn't stand a chance, he has zero opportunity. I don't see any holes, but I can tell how he attacks, the only attack I see is that he is going to kick my legs. That's the only thing that he can do. He has good cardio but everyone has good cardio when they're not under pressure. When you're walking forward you'll have good cardio, but when you're in trouble, cardio tends to fade away, and this will be the case, he will have someone in front of him that never goes back. It will be one of the easier fights of my career so far. Tapuria's words sparked reactions among MMA fans, with some suggesting he might face disappointment when Volkanovski steps into the fight. On the other hand, some fans believe Tapuria poses a significant challenge for Volkanovski and see the young fighter 
as the winner of this fight. Thanks for watching. If you're a fan of MMA, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Also, leave a comment below with your thoughts on today's news. Keep supporting the sport, and we'll see you in the next one.